Hey there guys, it's Christina. This is the stroller tag video. I actually saw it on Obs and Lala and Megan and Layla, and it's from Marie at Bits and Clips, and I thought this is really fun, and who doesn't love to talk about a baby item that works really, really well for them? So I broke my stroller out of the trunk, which is where it lives all the time, um, so that I could walk you through it. So our stroller is the Baby Jogger Summit XC. Um, it's actually right behind my giant head, so I'm gonna move back and just walk you through the features of the stroller and then I'll do the tag really quick. So this is the stroller. It is the, um, I guess you call it the off-road jogger capability stroller. Excuse my dogs, they're running around right now while my son's napping. Um, so it has the 16 inch wheels on it and it has a full pivot wheel here on the front, which you can <clears throat> just turn this knob right here and the wheel will actually lock in a straight position so you can run with it too. And it is meant to be a full um, running stroller, like all out, you can take it on a marathon kind of thing if you want. I don't actually run, but I just wanted any kind of capability if I was only gonna get one really nice stroller. <coughs> um, one of the reasons that we love the stroller, it has this huge, huge canopy and it does have the peekaboo window here at the top. It has a plastic cover, so if it is ever raining, the plastic it does not go through on the baby if you have the peekaboo open. Um, and we have a ton of sun. Uh, I live in Texas. We just have a ton of sun here, so this was extremely, extremely important for us. Um, it has a back brake right here that you can just push down on with your foot while you're going. Once it's locked, all the back wheels are locked, and then you can just push it back up with your foot. It also has a handbrake, so if you're ever going down a hill or whatever, um, and based on the weight of the baby, because this will hold up to 70 pounds, um, if things are getting away from you, you can push the handbrake as well. And it works just like a bike brake, so it will slow you down or completely stop you, depending on what you want it to do. Um, here's the basket here at the bottom. This is not a huge basket. Um, you really, I can't fit my diaper bag uh, or anything like that in it. So <clears throat> what Baby Jogger has done to make some additional space is here on the back it has a net that pulls out. And this net actually goes from all the way here to all the way down here at the bottom, which is a huge amount of space. And it goes clear across the entire stroller. And then here at the top, there's also a small zippered compartment. So things like my car keys or my cell phone, stuff that I don't uh, want to lose, I put in here and zip to make sure we don't use them, sorry, lose them, uh, depending where we're going. This is the safety strap for it. I really like the safety strap on this one. Um, the comparable stroller really for this one that most people look at is the Bob Revolution. To be honest, I don't like the bob and the way it looks. It looks kind of clunky and kind of army design, like a Hummer. And I'm not interested in that. I want something sleeker. So we really liked this one. Um, but on this one, it attaches here at the bottom bar. So if you are running and you have this attached to you um, and the stroller gets away from you, high floor, what will happen is once you fall or whatever happens, it will stop on this bottom bar here. On the bob, it's much higher. Um, and that made me nervous that the stroller might actually fall over um, if it was a bad fall. So really like this option as well. Um, <clears throat> the wheels on this one pop off really easy. I'm not going to take them fully off, but there are clips here at the bottom, which you just open literally like that, and the wheels come off which for us was key because a stroller like this, we wanted it to not only go off-road and run with it, but also take it to Disney World and do stuff like that. Excuse me. <laughs> so we wanted to make sure that the stroller could travel. Um, it is heavy, but it will travel because the wheels come off so it gets pretty compact. <clears throat> to fold, sorry. <laughs> To fold the stroller um, is actually one of the best features about it, and that's why we decided to go with this one ultimately. It was definitely our big hinge. Um, it is a one-pull fold, and that's true on pretty much all Baby Jogger brand, like City Mini and things like that. So that's why we really like Baby Jogger. And they 
did it as well here on their all-terrain stroller. So demonstrate. There are safety clips, which I've already unhinged here. And what they're really meant for is to make sure that when the fold when the stroller is up, that you know, if your baby is walking around the stroller or something like that, they can't accidentally pull the fold. That's really what it's for. There's nothing structurally wrong with operating the stroller with those snaps um, off. So they have nothing to do with the weight that it'll hold or anything like that. It's strictly to make sure the folder, that the stroller won't fold up um, if a baby or somebody else gets to it. So to fold the stroller, there's a fold right here. You pull up, and the whole thing folds down just like that. Pretty great. So to put it back up, I just grab the back, and it's up. So I don't have any buttons. Um, there's no multi-fold. I believe on the bob you actually have to fold the top down first before you can fold the rest. Um, after having another stroller, I really wanted something that just folded up really fast. And this one did that for us, so we really do like it. Um, so now I'll actually go into the tag and answer a few questions. The tag is what's the name of your stroller, where did you buy it, and how much is it currently priced? Um, this is the Baby Jogger Summit XC. It is considered an all-terrain stroller. I bought it online from a site called 6pm.com because um, I couldn't find anything used on Craigslist. They were just too new. This is a 2011. I think they redesigned in 2010. Um, and that's where I got the best price. So it currently sells, I think, for about $400. Um, what sold you on the stroller, the design of the stroller, uh, the fact that we could do anything with it. We could run with it, walk with it, take it to an off-road park, um, which I've done a lot, take it to Disneyland, hold up to 70 pounds, last a really long time. Ultimately, though, the fold. The fold really sold the stroller. Doing it with one hand, I think, is just a huge benefit. It's a lot faster. Um, features on our list, the brake was really important. The easy fold was really important. The big sunshade was huge. We just come from a stroller that had a much smaller sunshade, and that was very, very frustrating. Um, so that was really important for us, too. And something that we could just do everything with um, and not have to have a lot of different strollers for different things. Um, did I buy or add on any attachment accessories? So no, what the stroller that you see here is the basic stroller. There are some attachments that I think would be nice. Really the only one I would like is the parent console because it has a cup holder on it. But honestly, when I'm usually out with a stroller, I have a water bottle that I refill. I think it's a Camelback water bottle or whatever. So it's fairly tall, but it slides right into that back pocket. Um, in that netting. So that actually works a lot better and because it's heavy, it's probably not a good thing to have in the parent console anyway. Do I keep anything permanently stored in the stroller? I don't. Um, actually, that's not true. I do. When I'm out walking, sometimes I take my crazy dogs that keep walking behind here. Um, and so I actually do have some baggies for my dogs when we're on their walks. That is permanently stored in the stroller. How many strollers have we owned? Um, I think this is stroller number three. We have a basic umbrella stroller in addition to this one. We registered and got the Graco Signature 3-in-1 stroller, and I sold that one on Craigslist. It worked really, really well for an infant seat carrier, I think, because the infant seat was so close. But once my son got older and he got out of that, it was the similar to you. Maxi Cozy does this, Queenie does this. Um, and I think even Baby Jogger has a line that does this, but the seat comes off and then you fold up the rest of it. Honestly, I just wanted one fold. So we um, let go of it really for that main feature that, that was kind of frustrating and went with this. Also, it was kind of heavy, and if I was going to have a heavy stroller, I might as well have one heavy stroller that just does everything. Are you happy with the stroller? We love this stroller. Everybody who's used it loves the stroller. 
you know, the wheels are bigger, it's got the inflated tires, it pushes extraordinarily well. Um, it works really well for where we live because we don't have sidewalks where we're at, so we're walking, if we're walking in our neighborhood, we're walking in the street. And then also every Monday we go to a big play date at our local botanical garden here that's down by the lake. So we spend a lot of time actually walking it through the grass and getting to the spot where we're going to sit. Um, and this stroller just goes everywhere and does everything and it's been great and my son doesn't get jostled around and the shocks work really well. So we really love it. Um, how does it fold? I showed you that. It's just the one handle pull and then just the brick part open to no other pieces, no nothing. Piece cake. Um, would you change anything if you could? Yes, I uh, definitely would. One thing is on the handbrake of the stroller, I would like it if I could engage the actual parking brake from the handbrake instead of having to use my foot. Um, sometimes that's just a little awkward depending on where I'm at, and so that would be really nice. I would love to change that. Also, the stroller is pretty heavy. Uh, I think it comes in at about 19 pounds. Now, for an all-terrain stroller, um, I don't think that that's bad at all, considering that it has shocks and the bigger wheels that holds up to 70 pounds. Um, but it would be nice if it was lighter somehow, and I don't know how they would do it, but it would be really nice. So I would change that. If there was a way to have a bigger basket, I think that would be great. Uh, it's not as high of a priority for me, but it would be really nice. And then um, Baby Jogger makes another model down from this that basically has inflated wheels, um, but it doesn't have shocks. And it would be nice if you had the Summit XC, this stroller that does have the shocks, if there was a way to just exchange the wheels so you could take off the bigger size wheels and go with smaller ones. Um, we do take this to the mall with us. It's definitely overkill for the mall, don't get me wrong. Uh, but it's still, it just rolls really, really well, and it's so easy, and my son's comfortable in it, so we just take it. But when we went to the mall, we don't really need those huge wheels, so it'd be nice to switch the wheels and just get it a tad narrower, if we could. So those are really the things that I would change, if I could. Um, does it work well for your husband or your partner? Absolutely. Uh, this stroller is really meant, I think, for taller people. The, um, the push bar is not adjustable on that at all. Um, so if you are, I'm 5'8", and my husband's actually 5'8", we're the same height. So this stroller works well. Uh, my niece has pushed the stroller, and she's not 5 feet tall, and she didn't have a problem. Um, but I do think that for shorter folks, this is probably not going to be the most comfortable option. But if you are... I don't know, 5'6 and up, 5'7 and up, um, especially if you're over 6 foot, I think this is the, the way to go for the stroller. Um, biggest bummers about your stroller purchase? You know, the stroller only comes in two colors, which is the black and red and a black and gray. Uh, so I went with the black and red because I like red, it's one of my favorite colors. It would be nice if it came in some other color combo options. Uh, I don't know that that's that big of a deal because I might have picked red anyway. It's my, one of my favorites. Um, other bummers about the stroller. Um, it does have the inflated wheel, so if we ever did get a flat, that would be a huge bummer. That hasn't happened to us yet. Um, and some of the newer strollers now have the non-flat tires on them. So that would be really nice. But other than that... Not really. Um, we really like the stroller. So uh, that's the Baby Jogger Summit XC. It works really, really well for us. Right now it's our go-to stroller. It's really the only one that we're using. We're thinking about getting the Baby Jogger Sydney Mini for um, being at the mall or other inside things. We really don't need this one, but um, for now, this is the one that we're using. We're using it full time and really love it. So I hope that helps. Thanks for doing the tag. This is a lot of fun. Have a great day.